If you want to learn how to make this transition in your architecture floor plan, stay until the end of the video. Hello, my name is Diego Lopez and this is Dinamica Arquitectónica. To start, we will use the programs Photoshop and After Effects. In Photoshop, we are going to order the file to have these three layers. A layer with the floor plan, another with the textures, and finally a PNG image with the walls. Then we save these files in the following formats. First, the floor plan. We go to File, Save As, and select this option, JPG, and save in this layer. Then we save the dark walls, or that I go into turn off all the layers, and turn on this one. Go to File and save as a PNG image. And finally the textures. Then we create a new document. Go to File, New. As I want to share it in Instagram Reels, I give it these dimensions. And Create. Then we import the files. Go to File, Place, and select the layers. Now we are going to scale it. We select all this layer and press Ctrl T and start to scale. We can press Alt to make the scale in this way. And finally we save each one again. Ok, then we go to After Effects and create a new file. Here we create a composition with the dimension of our images. I select this folder, we can create folders with this icon, and create a new composition with the shortcut Ctrl N or this icon. Then we import the images, for that I select this folder and press the shortcut Ctrl I and select these images, import. I drag these images to the workspace in this way, then I will turn off these layers, dark walls and floor plan textures and start animating the walls. For this we will use the pen tool this one and we will start doing the following we press f2 to the select any layer and create lines in this way with enough thickness to cover the walls After making one, we click on another layer and go back to the previous one. This makes all the lines stay inside this layer.
After covering the wall plane, we will use trim pads. We select the layer and it is important to be here in content. Go to add and select this option, trim pads. Open this tab and in zero seconds, we take the option end to 0%. Press this clock and then after 3 seconds we take it to 100%. We press space to reproduce the video. Perfect. What we need is that the walls are above this layer. We select this layer and place here. Select this shape layer 1 and go to this option alpha mate. The result is the following. And that's it. Then we add all the text with this tool, the text. We can create a text box like this and write the text. And finally, we add an effect with Animation Composer. For example, just create a text and go to Animation Composer. Select this folder and choose one of these animations. For example, I will use the first one. It is important to select the layer of the text. Select this one and press in. And here we have this animation. Then we need to show the textures, for this we turn on this layer and we create a mask. Select this layer, turn on and place it here. Then we will create a mask. We can select this tool, the rectangle and just make this shape. It is important to select this layer. Here. And now to animate this mask, it is important to open this tab and just activate the clock of mask pad. We activate this clock and a keyframe is created. Go forward and just with the selection tool we may double click in this mask and just make this transformation. And this is the result. A detail that I want to add is a line to define this transformation. For this I will press F2 to deselect any layer, select the pen tool and create a line in this way. This will have position keyframes that have to be aligned with the keyframe of the mask. For this, we go to this one, the first, and press the shortcut Alt Shift P. Here, go to the last keyframe, and again, we choose this position. Perfect. To finish, I would like to wall image to be zoom. For this, I create a null object and link all the layers to this one. To create a null object, just make right click here, new and null object. We select all this layer, holding shift, and link all of them to this null object tree and create some scale keyframes. 
we go to the zero seconds, we press the shortcut Alt Shift S and go to the final here and just change the scale. Press the shortcut N to finalize the animation here and see the result. And this is how this animation looks like. Finally, we export through Media Encoder and it's ready to share on Instagram. To export, it is important to define the duration of the animation. In this case, the duration is 6 seconds and then go to Composition and select this option. Here we choose this format and then we look for a folder to save it. We press play. And that's it. And this is the result. If you want to learn more techniques in After Effects, I share with you this training, where you will learn how to create animate diagrams and different techniques and plugins to apply this knowledge in all kinds of presentations. I hope it has helped you and see you in the next video.